Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. I'm so excited to check out that other base. Uh, I can't wait. I might not even put as much time in my base anymore as I wanted to because I'm just so curious about what's there. Um, so that's going to be definitely the main thing for this episode is go to the other base and our facility and see what happens once we get in there. And uh, go from there. Let's do it. Okay, let's get organized. Let's see. What do I have on me? A bunch of stuff. I could make the other batteries, but I don't really know. Because the... So if I would make batteries, right? I would make them for either Prani or Cyclops at this point. But they both have the heat thing on as well, so their batteries hardly drain to begin with. Um, so they don't really need it. They don't really need the power cell upgrade, so I wonder... I think at this point I should just go check out what the la what that other facility is about. I'm, I keep calling it the last facility because I think it's the last one. I'm not sure, of course, um, but because you know our uh, Prani and Cyclops don't go beyond 1,700 meters, so there can't be much more after because the other facility is at like 1,500. Was it? There can't be much more deeper after this. Which is kind of a shame. I kind of want to go even deeper. <laughs> Let's go like fully into the dark. Like 3k deep. That would be awesome. Um, But yeah. I think I'm all good. I still have some... I still have a ton of water on me. I have health kids. Let me go get another one. Hey, hey rescue. My cyclops. And I think I'll just go check out the base. I'm too curious. I said I would like... I said I would like maybe tweak some stuff on my base, but I think I want to check out the facility first and see what happens, because I'm just so fucking curious. Hello! Oops. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be in your way. Am I recording? Yes. Hi. Still very jet lagged. But I'm uh I'm getting a bit more sleep now. So that's good. I'm still like the jet lag manifests itself in that at nighttime I'm super awake. Um There's already a warper there. I thought they didn't come here. Um at nighttime, I'm super awake and then I have a hard time falling asleep. But then I fall asleep at like 4 or 5, which is kind of the usual time anyway, so that's good. But then I wake up all confused a couple hours later. And then when I really want to get up, which is like 1 p.m. at the latest, because otherwise my entire day is just gone. I have such a hard time waking up. It's like super tired like you're it feels like you're being woken up in the middle of the night which makes sense because LA time that's my life right now <laughs> I think this is it okay here we go ooh lava okay I think I did it guys I think we're here God, I'm, I am getting better at it, though. Piloting this thing. I still miss my sea mine, though. My ultimate baby. Okay. Okay, here we go. God, can you imagine getting stuck here? Without the jump jet upgrade? Or the grapple? Jesus. Prani isn't worth much without those upgrades. Here I come. Don't get stuck. Whee! Okay, we did it. I'm back. Okay. So I'll leave Prani here. I don't think he'll get hurt. Let's do it. 
Holy shit! Yeah, I think there he is. I don't think he shoots in here. Okay, let me put my prani around the corner because I'm worried he's gonna shoot it while I'm not here. Let's put it here. Oh, now I'm tiny again. I'm just hugging the floor. Hello. Oh. What? Holy shit! This place is huge. Emperor Egg. Evacuate immediately. Damn. God, this place is fucking big. Can you imagine the pressure it has to withstand to this 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 deep down? I can't read the terminal. I'm too tiny. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Should I read it right now? Oh god. What's happening? Did he shoot the outside of the building? Preserved fetus. Oh my god, he's clipping through the building. Sea Emperor fetus. Found preserved in a display case was likely a child of the adult specimen contained within the facility. Superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was artificially removed from its egg casing. Stunted tissue development suggests the organism expired during the removal process. Ah, oh, they killed it, taking it out of the egg. Tissue samples have been taken from the digestive tract. It appears the aliens were attempting to formulate a cure for the bacterium from enzymes produced in this specimen's digestive system. Without a young, healthy specimen, these efforts were in vain. Oh, I have a lot of data. Did I forget to read this last time? System is directly converting local thermal energy into electric current at 90% efficiency. This is the last base I was at a facility. Most of this energy is being stored in the battery-like devices within the plant itself, each of which holds en enough to power a small city for a year. Some of it is being drained off, presumably as it dis is distributed to other facilities on the planet. That makes sense. Cool. Fully automated. Then that's the fabricator I just scanned. Appears to be the origin of the raw mineral that forms the base of the ion cubes which power smaller alien systems. Likely drawing power itself from the main thermal plant, this device may represent an almost limitless source of energy. Enzyme 42. According to translated data logs, an indigenous leviathan species was found to produce a unique su substance referred to as enzyme 42, which inhibited the sy sy symptoms of the cara bacterial infection in other indigenous organisms. The specimen was captured and contained in a purpose-built habitat for further study. The alien researchers went to great lengths to provide for the life form's environmental needs, including the import of interdependent flora and fauna fa via an on-site warp gate. However, its health quickly deteriorated. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and force fields were sealed. All attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccine have been have been unsuccessful. Fossil data recorded from the volcanic rock that was excavated to construct the alien power facility. It has been possible to extra extrapolate a number of key trends. Aliens recorded data on indigenous organic remains or originating between 10,000 and 1,000 years ago. Life forms on record feature an unusually low overlap with those encountered so far. Okay. Extinction event. Soil samples from 1,000 years ago contain 300% higher concentration of organic remains than the soil average. Data supports a mass extinction event, killing off a majority of species and forcing rapid adaptation amongst many of the survivors. Has been possible to extract further useful information regarding alien ion power. Ion cubes are grown artificially from a mineral substance. Oh. Treated to remain in a stable state despite the huge ionic energy contained within. By installing an ion cube in an appropriate device, this energy can be released as electrical power. Using this knowledge, it has been possible to synthesize new battery and power cell blueprints. I see. A power router in the thermal plant is distributing energy collected on site to other facilities on the planet. 
primary containment facility location updated constructed within a natural chasm connected to this cave network south southeast oh 1.4 depth so this is how we were supposed to find the one that i'm in now power distribution diseases the disease facility is offline i see yeah that's awesome no clear way to interrupt the power flow do we want to Oh yeah, and that's the sky. I forgot to read all of these, I guess. Reapers are ill-suited to high temperature environments, suggesting this creature was forced down into the active lava zone by conditions outside its control. Trace muscle tissue remains on the bones, indicating the specimen died in recent months. Oh wow. Burns on and other physical data to the skeletal structure likely became prey for something bigger. Oh god, that would have been cool to find before seeing the drug octopus. And just realizing I want to help you. Okay, there. Okay, now all my things are gone. Uh, so, okay, so they were, they extracted this thing from an egg to try and find a cure, right? To try and develop a cure with something that comes from that, from that fetus. What's that? Preserved creature egg. Egg cas casing. I can't read. Wait, is there something in all of these? I'm so tiny. I'm just stuck to the floor. No, these are empty, right? Okay. So that was this side, I think. Let's see. Shell composition. Shell casing is formed from thick layers of carbon composite, blah blah blah. Leviathan species may give birth just once per century, perhaps just once in their lifetimes. Precise incisions suggest laser-based tool was used to cut open the egg casing and forcibly remove the fetus. Time pressure to develop a bacterial vaccine may have driven the alien researchers to cut open the egg. Also possible that removed from its parent and natural habitat some vital condition for the infant to hatch naturally was not met. That makes sense. Okay, there's another gate back there. Oh, there's a ton of stuff here I didn't even see or scan. Jesus. Let's see what this is. Alien building block. Rock-like object features organic as well as mechanical parts. Wow. Self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere. Huh. Appears to serve no purpose in its current state, awaiting some kind of activation sequence. I'm so tiny! <laughs> Tracking implant. Construct is emitting a high bandwidth signal consistent with the alien transmission intercepted elsewhere. DNA in the exterior indicates that it was once implanted inside one of the life forms and then indigenous earlier. Size suggesting the subject was Leviathan class. Hmm. This day again, I might be retrieved. An unusual box. The device contains a highly unstable radioactive isotope, likely to destroy all organisms exposed to it while leaving physical structures intact. It would function perfectly well as a weapon, it was more likely used to sterilize spaces for later inhabitation. Without instructions, it could, would be unwise to interact with it. Damn. An empty case. Ooh. <laughs> this is the most interesting part. Scans show some form of advanced nanobot inside the seemingly empty case. Oh, it is really interesting. These bots are substantially smaller than any developed within the Federation and it's not possible to ascertain their exact function. What's that? A translation device. Ah, linguistic data from over a thousand different languages. It's a Google Translate. Core of the device may allow alien text to be read and translated. Analysis of the onboard data reveals a number of ancient Earth languages, and the term CHBC life appears many times in the device's data. I don't know what that is. Device seems to be configured to translate into the designer's language. It will not work the other way around. It's probably some reference I'm missing. Gosh, I wish I wasn't this gosh dang tiny though. Ah, 
God, there's so much to explore here. Maybe if we put in another tablet, um, I go back to my original height. Oh, hey! Did I bring iron cubes? I did not. Fuck. That's what I forgot to bring. I brought tablets, but no cubes. Okay. Well, we might find some cubes here. Should have just put them in the... Wait, wasn't this a fabricator? Maybe I can just make one. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe Prawny. Maybe I should bring Prawny in. <laughs> I forgot how cool this is. <laughs> oh, hello! Oh, he's coming for me. Do you not like me? Oh, he gave up. Welcome aboard, Captain. See if I can drill that, maybe. Yeah, I think it works. Um, I'll leave it here though. Hopefully I'm a bit taller now. No, I think I think I'm still tiny. Let's see where this goes. I hope I was allowed to just drill a bit off. Oh, maybe now I'm taller. Yes. I'm fixed. I have my knees back. Let's see where this goes. 280 meters? Where is it? Oh, is it that one that I found earlier? Yeah, it is! Holy shit, the one that I was like, it's unpowered. I know exactly where I am. Huh, cool. Okay, mystery solved. I'm getting a bit thirsty. Okay, now that I'm normal height again, let's check out the rest of the facility. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you think these are all tunnels? Uh, like gates? Stargates? Oh. This room appears to be a biological archive storing more than 40 indigenous egg specimens in different states of development. Damn. Can't scan much. Sea Emperor, Leviathan research data. Specimen size categories have been adjusted upward to accommodate the species. Alien research data indicates that despite its size, the species feeds entirely on microorganisms. Kind of like a whale! Ovary-like organs are carried in the creature's middle section, suggesting that, like other species on this planet, it produces eggs. Emperor manufactures enzyme 42 within its stomach cavity to break down its food. Will occasionally expel it into the surrounding waters. This substance was found to neutralize the effects of the bacterium, and its presence in the ecosystem today would explain how life on the planet survived the outbreak. Ah. Uh, it would remain to be explained by what mechanisms the enzyme was being delivered. Comparative analysis of size and meta metabolic rates indicates indicates the specimen captured by the research was approximately 1600 years old. Extensive internal and external scar tissue suggests it had lived well in excess of its peak lifespan for its species. While a healthy emperor specimen may have held some potential as a cure, it is unlikely any research subjects survived quarantine procedures. 
Hmm, I have a suspicion that we're gonna meet one, because someone's been talking to me. That's cool. Can I scan any of this? Oh, that's a big boy. Is this important? No. Oh, is this like mid-operation? Hmm, can't scan any of this. I really thought this was like a treasure trove of scanning items. Guess not. Okay, back up we go. Next room. This is so cool though. I'm so into it that I forget to check if I'm actually recording or not every now and then. So, I just have to pray that everything is working. Oh, another one. I'm kind of scared to go into these because it's that thing of like you don't know what's on the other side. Like I kind of have like these uh, Minecraft vibes where you know you know when I went through first time, not really prepared. Oh, he fell over. Oh no, he didn't. I wasn't really prepared, and then my gates closed on me, and I was like, how the fuck do I get back? Because I didn't have flint on me, flint and steel, or was it flint and something? Oh, I didn't even scan the things on the other side, did I? So is this just a, a permanent... Like, it just grows back? So I can just drill this whenever I want? Oh yeah! It must be regrowing it now. Oh, I'm tiny again. Fuck. Oh wait, but I'm gonna put in a cube. Haha. -ha. Then I'm a big boy again. Maybe I should save. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing some pretty important stuff. Okay. Oh, I didn't grab it. God damn it, it's in the prani. Hello, prani. Can I reach? I don't think I can. Can you squat down for me, please? There you go. Good boy. Now stay there. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Prowny's definitely growing on me. There you go. Find my knees. Power the gate. 600 meters. I wonder where I am. Does it just connect all the bases? 600 meters depth. Wait, where am I? There's my base. Weird. Uh, kinda wanna explore a little bit, but I also don't wanna lose my way back. Where is this? I was like, can I grab that without hurting myself? What if this is like right by my base? Wait, where is this? I don't think it's not that far from my base. Interesting. Really, like... I really want to explore, but... Not without any equipment. I think it just leads back to where I was. It's just a, a pathway I didn't know of before, I think. I think I've been around there. If not, let me know, and I could always go back. I think this is just a way of connecting things. Because all these gates come together, so it just makes traveling through this world so much easier. 
I guess Prani is the way to go because Prani can move on land and on water. In water. Okay. God, that's so awesome though. They just have these warp points throughout the world. Um, then there's back here, which I haven't been yet. It's another blue tablet, so a good thing I made two, huh? Rudimentary tablet. Device shares many similarities with the tablets used to access the facilities, although its structure is rather less complex. It may have served a, a similar purpose, granting security access. Was thus kept here as a form of legacy support. Holographic projector. The device contains network apparatus and a holographic projection unit. It was likely used as a communications relay, capturing and projecting the image of the user at a remote location. It's a streaming device. This artifact is unpowered, suggesting it serves a ceremonial rather than practical purpose. The pyramid resembles vines spiraling upward towards a warm blue stone mounted above it. it may represent a plant found on the alien's home world, a building of religious import, or even the gravitational pull of their home solar system. Strange carving. This carving is hundreds of thousands of years old, made from an unrecognized natural fiber grown on an unknown planet. Bears striking resemblance to the old Earth Yin Yang symbol. Oh yeah. Two competing theories may explain the similarity. Aliens visited Earth prior to the 4th century BC and influenced the development of ancient Chinese philosophy. I like that. The concept of yin and yang was universal since yin and yang described the fundamental inter interdependency of seemingly opposing forces. Yeah, I guess so. Opposite forces. Um, in some form, in all sufficiently developed civilizations, tapering of two circles into opposed and infinite small, infinite smally, infinite simile, small points. The finite is one logical way to represent this understanding. Ancient blade. I didn't even see it. Ancient earth blade. Oh, earth! Dating back to the 13th century. What? Blood samples on the blade match the DNA of seven separate heads of state from the period. The evidence supports the theory that aliens are an ancient space-born civilization engaged in the surreptitious study of less developed species. What? So aliens have been on Earth. That's weird. Oh, let's start here. That's really weird. That's so cool, though, that they tie it together like that. So where does this one go to? How many do I have left? Two more? One more. 300 meters. Have I been here? Is this the island? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, let's go back. I guess it just means there's tons of ways to get back to the surface. <laughs> I'm really worried that one of these portals is gonna kick me out and I can't get back. I'd be so fucked. But I feel like it would be- that would be kind of unfair. I don't think the game developers would do that to us. Oh, it's regrowing already. That's good. 
Oh. It's a playground. Wow. That's so nice. Oh, this is awesome. Inflow pipe. I want one of those for my base. Pipes drawing water into the containment facility are filled with peepers arriving from the surface. <gasps> I do want that. Fish show no signs of distress. Specimens scanned have all consumed high quantities of seeds and organic matter from the surface. Specimens are beginning to show signs of infection. Oh no. So is that just how they kept an eye on things? Like, monitored the health of the... Of the water topside. Water flowing to and from the primary containment facility is being automatically controlled independently of other safeguards. Data on the water composition has been recorded. Water is being drawn from different biomes around the surface of the planet. Water temperature is considerably lower than the volcan volcanic environment outside the facility, while microorganism and nutrient counts are substantially higher. Oxygen depri deprived water is being flooded from the system and recycled back to the surface. Ah, so it's just explaining how it's like self-contained. That's fucking awesome. Enzyme host peepers leaving the containment facility. Oh! Outflow pipes are filled with peepers traveling back towards the surface. Specimens show no sim symptoms of infection. All specimens scanned are carrying the enzyme. Oh, specimen stomach cavities and otherwise are um, otherwise empty, suggesting they may have purged the contents before entering the pipes. If peepers have evolved to distribute the enzyme via, enzyme via, I think it's enzyme, via the pipe network, this may explain part of the mechanism by which life uh, has survived on this planet. Oh, okay. So please explain it to me. Uh, in the comments as well afterwards, but I'm I think what it's trying to say is like it sucks down peepers, puts the good enzyme enzyme in them and then sends them back out. Or they have either they have evolved to have the enzyme on them naturally. I want those peepers actually, I'm a little bit hungry. Um so it means that they're they're like just evolving to be more resistant. Let's see if we can find some fish here. 240 meters. I could use a little snack. Where the fuck is this? It makes me think that there's like so many islands I haven't been to or something. Or are these all locations that I've seen that I've been like, well, I don't know. Can I eat you? I guess not. Sorry about that. Oh, I bet I can he eat you. Vital signs stabilizing. Where is this? Oh, the mushroom forest? What the fuck? Oh, that's so weird. I shouldn't go out too far though. I'm worried I can't find my way back. <gasps> Peeper! You're mine. Can scan one of these apparently. Whole fish. Oh, I haven't cooked it. I thought I hit one. Oh, there you go. Okay, let's go back. There must have been like there must be a ton of caves around here. Where I kinda just didn't realize. I wish I could put beacons at all of these. It's like 1k from my base. Oh, so close to my sea mine too. My mind is blown right now. It's so cool to find all of these 
teleportation devices. Let me drink one of those. Okay, I'm all good. Nice. I think it's time for the last room. With the tablet. I think I checked everywhere now. I did the three rooms on that side, three rooms on this side. I went up there. Did I? No, yeah. I went up there, I came from down there. So let's do it! I'm so glad I brought a second... a second tablet. Maybe I should go in with a knife. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't give off the right message. Is that water again? Wait, but is there something back there? Should I go under? It looks like that's another portal, but... Oh, I'm nervous. I can't look in. Can I get out? Oh god. Holy fuck, Jesus. Are you gonna kill me? Not really. Came here once. They built these walls. They played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, we have you. Can you knock it out? We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. Holy shit. Holy shit. Detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. So she's pacifying them? Oh, there's a buried portal there. Holy shit, oh, there's bladder fish and everything! Um... So what do we do? Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare, plankton-like life form which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. Oh. Um, something disappeared. There we go. The walls. <laughs> kind of important. Wait, can we go even deeper? Need to go up for air. Jesus! Oh, so deep already! Oh, god. I guess this area is so big it can't really load everything properly. Okay, this isn't exactly working, but... Jesus, that thing scared me. So what am I doing here? Can I scan this guy? <laughs> no, can I scan your butt? Oh, it has a whole trail. Unlike other alien facilities, scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Explanation unclear at this time. So what am I doing here? This is just lighting? It's weird how I found this and now it's not really giving me... Oh, maybe there's something there. Let me go up again. It's not really telling me what to do. <laughs> I 
That's what holding space does. Okay. Let me check the floor. Because I see something there. I don't know if it's important. It looks like something to put a tablet in. Oh! <gasps> I don't have any on me! Shit. Incubator. Sea Emperor eggs. Oh shit! Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you coming down? Oh shit. Oh god. Okay. So it settles when I check out the thing. Um, I hope I can go out and get fetch an iron cube. Oh, looks like I can get out here. Oh no. Yes. Okay, I was scared about not being able to leave the water. Let's go fetch one. It's so cool. I need you to squat down though. Oh, I'm stuck again. God, it's so glitchy. Dude, I need the... Okay. I can't move. It's so weird. I need your storage, please. I can't walk at all anymore. Like, isn't this supposed to work? There you go. Oh, I did one step here. Okay, I snapped out of it. Thank you. Whew, Jesus. Um, what did I find? Uh, Empress specimens' eggs are attached to some form of incubator. In a normal life cycle, it seems likely that the sea emperors would have buried their eggs in shallower waters where different organic materials in the so soil would have triggered a hatching response. Incubators suggest that aliens had resorted to developing artificial hatching enzymes which would simulate the egg's natural hatching environment but were unable to discover the formula. With extensive information on the sea emperors themselves, it may still be possible to fabricate an artificial hatching enzyme using indigenous ingredients. Indigenous? However, the only surviving source of that information may be the sea emperor itself. The eggs. Uncommonly strong shell lining, organic growth on the exterior suggests these eggs may be hundreds or thousands of years old. Alien devices penetrate the outer shell layer, likely designed to supply them with nutrients. Oh, right. Like many eggs on this planet, these do not contain a nutrient supply which is slowly exhausted by the embryo. Instead, they exist in a form of natural stasis, awaiting appropriate hatching conditions. There is a high genetic match between those these organisms and the Leviathan in the vicinity. They appear to be stable and healthy. It's likely that ideal hatching conditions for the eggs vary considerably from ideal survival conditions for the parent. Okay. Um, this way. There is something across there, though. I wonder how I get there. I wouldn't know unless we flood the whole thing. Let's put a cube in, see what happens. Maybe I should save again. <laughs> Just because I'm worried that at some point it's gonna like- because it's kind of buggy on my end now. I'm worried it's gonna screw me over and then I lose all my progress. You gonna talk to me? My young need to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. 
that one. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. Let's do it. That's so cool. Insert hatch. Insert hatching enzymes. Oh, how do I find those? Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Here you go. Hundred sixty-eight. the time is right and break free of their shells. Oh, what was happening to my arm? Is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Hatching enzymes. <gasps> cool. Um, I need oxygen though. Shay, wait. I can go in there. Let me go in there. Yeah. There was a gate there all along? I didn't even realize. Holy shit. Okay, let me see. Oh god, a lot of text. Available biological data has been used to synthesize the effects of the alien bacterium on the sea emperor's natural life cycle. This creature likely lived and moved in small herds around the planet's ocean trenches, coming to the surface to feed off the huge volumes of microorganisms in the shallower waters. Family size would be strictly limited by available food supply. Offspring would likely split off at a young age to form their own herds elsewhere. Given their sparse population, mating and egg laying was likely infrequent, perhaps a once-in-a-lifetime event. Species likely had, had a preferred environment for egg laying. In fact, successful hatching may depend on such conditions. Given the rarity of this event, it is impossible to calculate those conditions precisely. There is no evidence to support the assumption that all members of the species were immune to the alien bacterium. Even if this, even if this is so, there is evidence that introduction of the bacterium decimated life on the planet and this would have had catastrophic effects on the emperor's food supply and survival rate. Symbiotic relationship between this specimen and other life forms likely developed as a direct result of the bacterial infection. Those life forms which learned to keep the emperor alive survived with its help. This may explain the vast tracts of lifeless ocean in a rough, per rough perimeter around the emperor's location. Okay. It's a lot of information to take in. Um, what about the- oh, it's a blueprint! <gasps> oh my god. Wait, what is this? Ghost weed seed, bulb bush, bush sample, eye stalk seed, oh! Sea crown, I've seen that, I know where that is. Fungal sample. I know the sea crown, because I scanned it. Um, it was like in a deep cave and I was like, oh, I didn't know this was here. Ice stalk I've seen as well because it kind of like glows in the dark. Or is that the ghost weed? I've definitely seen those. The bulb bush, I, bulb bush. I think I've seen the fungal, I just don't know. Fungal sample. Um, that is cool though. So I need to get those things now. I guess I could just swim back to my base then. Here, up top. And leave my prawny down there for now. And this is right there, so it's super easy to find. Because I think I need to be around here to collect some of it. Oh my god, is it sea mine time again? Ah, oh, it's a surface! I haven't been here in so long! <laughs> Fresh air! Holy shit! Oh my god, this is so weird! Ah, that's so cool though. I love the fact that like the sea emperor was like not willing to give this secret before but now they've been locked in there for so long and they're so lonely that like they're like yeah I'll give it to you. I just need... Don't attack me. Um, they're just like I just I need to get out here so I don't mind giving you what you need. 
Uh, as long as you free me and my children. That's fucking awesome. I'm so excited. I hope I can find it though. Oh shit. Let's put in the good battery. 500 power. <laughs> I think my sea glide, will sea glide will last me for a while now. Oh my god, my old base! That's gonna be cool to see. I feel like I haven't been here in weeks. <laughs> it's been like two weeks. <laughs> two real real life weeks. Oh look, the Aurora! It's been so long! Uh, my poor Prani though. Now he's just sitting there waiting for me to come back someday. I'll have to make sure to bring a spare power cell just in case he runs out of power. I can just replace those, right? Just like same with the C mine, if it runs out, you just replace it. Replace the power source. I think my base is out of power here. I should, put, I should just put some more stuff on it. Some more like solar panels. This is the easiest way to do it. Oh my god, it feels like forever since I've been here. That is so cool though, I kind of get it now, like they put all these teleportation gates around here. Oh my god, look at that! They put all the all the gates around the world just in case that wherever you built your other bases, aboard, you can always... Why didn't they even dock the... wait. Aboard, Why didn't I even dock this? <laughs> here you go. I only have 650 power in this base? Jesus. I'm back! Honey, I'm home! Only two lockers? Holy shit. I wonder if these things are added now. No. Um, I could s I could put the... stack the upgrades though. Do you guys think that that's maybe the way to go about it? To find the, all those materials? I kind of have an idea. Hello. I kind of have an idea of where to... Wait, do I even have... Oh, I do. I only have lantern tree here. Well, it's something. Does my water thing still work? Yeah, nice. Huh. We could get some mushrooms for the bioreactor. I'm immediately like, okay, let's do this. <laughs> oh my god, it feels so familiar to be back here. Haven't missed that. No cyclops hanging around though. That one's still down there. Put some power in. There you go. 188. 89. Okay. It's powering up. Good. Um Yeah, I'll do that later though. I don't I think this is a good episode. It was actually exactly an hour, and I don't think I think K we hardly have to edit anything out, right? So I think this is a good length episode. Oh, whoops. Quartz, titanium, and copper. Hmm. That's not too bad. I don't have my thingy here though, so I can't drill for these. Ah, oh, this is so weird! Okay, so people told me I can... pick these guys up and put them outside. Maybe I should release them in the wild. Are they just leaving me now? Oh no. Command to stop follow. So they're following me? Oh my god, there he come. Play with fish. Oh, play with fish. Oh, I got a cookie. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so cute. He likes me. Where's the other one though? 
I only see this one. Command to stop follow. Did I do it? That's one of them. Where's the other one? I hope they don't die out here. Yeah, I did lose the other one. I only see this one. Weird. Are you stuck in here? Oh, no, that's not him. Hmm. Guess I lost the other one. Well, at least now they're free. Um, I think I'll cut the episode here. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna just try and... I know where some of the things are. I can start with that. Um, I think I can found, find the sea crown seed. I remember where I found that. I think I can find the ghost weed and the eye stalk. Um, pretty easily. I think I, I vaguely remember which direction that was in. I don't know where the fungal sample is or the bulb bush though. So I'll either have to look that up or just find it by just moving around a little bit. Um, shouldn't be too hard though. But yeah, I think that's it. I think this is a good episode. A lot of shit happened, a lot of exposition happened. We're gonna help the Empress. Sea Emperor, was it? What's your name? Sea Emperor. We're gonna help the Sea Emperor hatch her eggs and um, send her on her way. Save in the process before I forget. Um, and then hopefully cure ourselves and then we can possibly get off the planet. This really feels like, really feels like end game shit now, so I'm really excited. I'm sad that it's gonna end, but at the same time I'm really excited to see um, how this game comes to an end as well, so. Can't wait! Thank you so much for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much!